What up, Dom? It's your boy Amazing from the bottom to the six. Fucking with SP. Go young. If your shooter loses his pistol, will he have muscle? Where did you get your name from? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, honest shit. Came from fucking with bitches. Some sex type shit. <laughs> for real, for real. That's where it came from. It was like, damn. I heard that shit so many times. I'm like, I might as well just turn up. <laughs> That's really where it came from though, like no lie. The streets, they called me black or blizzy. Amazing. Came from the bedroom. <laughs> alright, alright. So tell, tell the people, man, what kind of shit you got out here, man? Well, as far as music, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, recently, like I said, I just started taking it serious, like within the last four years of my life. I started taking it serious when I was 19 and turned 20 right after that, so four years. The music that I got, I got all types of shit. Like every mixtape that I drop, I'm giving them me. I'm giving them that, that street shit they want to hear. I might throw a song or two in there on that stunting, dripping shit that they want to hear. I'm always going to do some, some R&B for the ladies. Always. All the time. Every CD I drop is R&B song on there for the ladies. I could have the most gangster CD out in the streets. <laughs> it's gonna have an R&B song in there for the ladies. <laughs> for real, for real. That's what's up. What do you think it is that separates you from other artists? Uh, basically, I said already, like basically like, I'm not trying to only appeal to the streets. Like, I wanna make music that everybody can feel like. I wanna drop a song that all my street niggas gonna feel. I wanna drop a song that all my niggas that's in college gonna feel. Drop some shit that all the ladies gonna feel. Drop some shit that the older crowd gonna feel. Some shit that the younger high school, middle school crowd gonna feel. It's basically like, I feel like that's what separates me and I feel like it's levels to the differences. Like, of course, I feel like personally myself, any nigga that rap about, any nigga that rap, period, can drop a song that everybody could feel, you know? At least one song that everybody can feel. But at the same time, I feel like what separates me is the fact that I can keep going and going and going and going. Like, I can go drop 20 songs that the kids gonna feel, 20 songs the streets gonna feel, 20 songs the grown ups gonna feel. I mean, we grown ups, I'm grown too, I'm 24, but this shit, this all around music, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like I said, every mixtape that I drop got something for the ladies on it, no matter how street it is. So, I feel like that shit separate me, like, by far. Over here, they, they over there, and shit like that. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you, man. Well, me, mm, east side, of course, 24. No matter what I got going on in my life, I love making music. Like, there have been times where I couldn't even afford the black and miles that I smoke, a dollar, four quarters, a hundred pennies, ten dimes. I still was finding a way to go to that studio, you feel me? I love this shit. Like, I, I want some money off of it, but I just do it from a passion. Like, my heart tells me that I gotta do this every day. More about me, I mean, this laid back dude. A lot of people tell me I'm too humble, but I look at it like this. If you humble, you on God's team, you feel me? So, end of the day, fuck it. Sometimes I wanna turn up. I wanna stun on niggas cause people try to shit on me. I'll be like, I stun on this nigga right now, but same time I feel like what I'm gonna get out of that. He see me, you feel me? This bitch see me, you feel me? So it is what it is. Um, I'm simple, ain't too much to tell me. I'm simple as hell, I'm a cool dude. Don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. Show me love, I'm gonna show you love. Respect me, I'm gonna respect you. So, what are some of your goals for 2016? 2016? <coughs> Like, you mean like music-wise or period? Period. Period, like. Both mu mu music-wise. First yeah. thing first, like, my main goal right now, my main goal of everything is to get closer to God. Like, 
I felt like I, I built a bond with them. Like I was going to church every Sunday. Then I looked up and I wasn't going to church no more. So that's my main goal. After that, I just want all my people to get a, a brief understanding of me. You know, like all my people there fuck with me. Because I know sometimes I, I might throw people off. I might do some shit that motherfuckers didn't expect me to do. Not no whole shit, but just, you know, just shit that motherfuckers didn't expect. And keep dripping on them. Videos. Video after video. Like, video after video. I got some shit on the way. I haven't, haven't I, don't, I ain't dropped no video yet this year. I got one already done, but it ain't come out yet. It's coming out, though. It's coming out real soon. But that's the main, that's, that's the main focus is just like me. And mines, me and mines. That's my goals for this year. Me and mines. So when 2017 do kick in, we got a brief understanding and we all eat. That's all my goal is this year. I want us to eat. No matter what. No matter what happened. Prayer. I gotta pray more. Name some artists that you don't work with. Artists I don't work with? Man. Okay. As far as the city go. I mean, I work with the city. I don't work with Cash Kid, I don't work with Stack Boy Ty, I don't work with Vezo, I don't work with Peasy, I don't work with Timmy, Snoop, I don't work with motherfucking Green Guy Webbo, I don't work with um Brielle Leslie, I don't work with Rio the Don. Me and Mike the Diz haven't dropped a single yet, but we got one particular song. Well um Detroit Killer B, he put a song together. I don't remember everybody's name on there, just a few names. Rocky Bad, Jay Prince, Mike Diz was on there, Maserati Money was on there. I was on there, just a few names, not to leave nobody out, no disrespect or offense. Um, I work with my nigga Beneficial Verdict. Verdict got a hell of a song on the radio right now. Um, it was hard. I work with Peasy. I work with Team Eastside Ray. The Fuckery, like one of the hottest songs that I got out here right now. Me and M.I.A. just did the remix to that, that bitch, that bitch doing numbers. They played that bitch like seven times at the Sting on Valentine's Day. Um, I work with Southwest Mac. I, I don't work with a lot of people. Hey, I don't work with a whole lot of people. <laughs> I to say, so you don't work with everybody, shit. I don't work with a lot of people. A whole lot of people. <laughs> Plan on working with Viz again. And Peasy. Some other people too, but yeah. I work with a lot of people. Hello. <laughs> Who do you feel like is your biggest competition in the game right now? As far as as far as Detroit artists? Competition? I mean, as far as competition goes, like lyrically, I don't feel like nobody is competition. Like I'm not <laughs> even trying to be arrogant, but lyrically, I'm not even gonna front. I go in that booth and I do what I wanna do. That's you know what I'm saying? Like I don't I shit the last fifty songs I done recorded, I didn't even write. And they all fire in some kind of way, you feel me? So it's like, fuck it, like, fuck the fame, the mixtape. I didn't really write that CD. I had like five songs on there that I already had that I just threw on there. So music wise, not to discredit nobody because I'm not the only nigga in this city that write good songs, but overall I'm not. I'm not really gonna add, I'm not really gonna add anybody to this competition. Nobody, nobody. Okay. I mean, shit, we gonna work together or we ain't. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel about it. It is what it is. No comp, no competition. I'm the competition. <laughs> I'm the competition. Fuck. What can the people expect from you? Drip. The people can expect from me to drip. <laughs> drip and drop sauce on. That's all I wanna do. Sauce, like, expect sauce from you. Amazing sauce, you feel me? <laughs> that amazing sauce. You talking about Prego? <laughs> now that spaghetti shit that they doing, we gonna drop sauce on them. I'm gonna drop sauce on them, but we got a team right here, so we gonna drop sauce on them together. That's what you can expect. You might as well. And I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, bullshit, or nothing like that, but you gotta talk your shit when you gotta talk your shit. I got an EP coming out called Go Young. Go Young. Expect Go Young. Go young, it's gonna be some shit on that bitch. That's all I'm gonna say. So expect go young. If you want some good music, expect go young. That's all I want the people to expect from me. Go young. That's what's up. That's what's up. 
What type of style are you coming with on the uh, on the Go Young? On the Go Young, I mean, it's an EP, so it's seven songs. It's seven songs on the EP. The style that I'm using on there is more so like I don't want to call it a Detroit style, but at the same time, it's a Detroit style. It's like a just. I woke up one morning, prayed, asked God for forgiveness. Wrote a mixtape and wanted people to just understand me. You feel me? I feel like it's it's a first time I ever say this. It's a me thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like a a me thing. I didn't have no pointers on it. I picked every beat. The people that's gonna be on it with me, I picked them. There was no suggestions or nothing like that. It's like a this is a me thing. Like a let me really just give y'all a a brief explanation of what I've been doing, you know, because if the people that fuck with me, when I ain't dropping them, they might be like, damn, like, what's up with bro? Like, bro still rap, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like a brief, a brief me real quick, like, without the explanation, without the having to get to know me. It's like, a, just listen to what I'm saying if you want to know how I feel about the shit that's going on. Not only in the city, but in the world. You know, because you don't know. CNN crazy. I don't even watch the news no more. I don't fuck with the news no more. I'm, my, like my grandma, man, she told me. She's 79. She always tell me every time, even to this day. I've been watching the news with her for 24 years. She always tell me, like, the news is depressing, but she's still watching. You know? So it kind of made me just feel like she was only telling me that to say. When I watch the news, I watch the news because I watch the news. But I don't really want you to watch the movie. You know? Because mm -hmm. she chilling. She in the crib all day. Only way she can get harmed is a motherfucker going to be in the crib. God forbid that. I lose my mind. But at the same time, basically, I feel like she just dripping on me. <laughs> like drip, drip, dripping sauce on me. Like, nigga, don't, don't worry about the news. Don't worry about the world. Because she always tell me, if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. If you're supposed to die, you're going to die. If you dodge them bullets and you're supposed to die, you're still going to die when you get in that car. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. The world, like shit, I'm, the shit that make us happy, make us smile. That's the shit I'm fucking with, dog. Like I ain't, I wanna focus on everything else, but it's like, damn. If I focus on everything else, how I'ma remain me? You know what I'm saying? Like I'ma get depressed. Man. I, I've been there before. Everybody getting shot by the police. Motherfuckers getting raped. Motherfuckers getting robbed. Motherfuckers getting carjacked. Motherfuckers catching AIDS. This is like. How? You know what I'm saying? Like, A's going around so crazy. Like, I had to go get my 2016 checkup just to make sure. You feel me? I'm Gucci though, you know? <laughs> I ain't got that. <laughs> we ain't got that over here. <laughs> Amazing SP ain't got that. <laughs> but, mm, shit, that's what it is though. That's, that's really just what it is. Just, just that. That's what's up. What, um, what you got to, what you got to say to the streets, man? You got, in, got anything, uh, Anything to address any any words for the streets? Word for the streets. Two things. I feel like both of them good. They might feel like one of them negative, one of them not. To the streets, two things. First thing, stop sleeping on. Second thing, keep hustling. You feel me? That's all I can say. To the streets. That's all I got to say. That's all I want to say. Stop sleeping on me and keep hustling. Tell the people how to get in touch with you, man. Get in touch with me, 313, say no. <laughs> but uh, you can follow me on Instagram at goyoung217. I ain't bougie, y'all follow back. Fuck Facebook, I ain't had nobody else on Facebook. Um, YouTube, Young Amazing 09. Twitter, I'm Young Amazing, proper spelling no spaces on everything that I said. Go Young, G O Y O U N G 217. Instagram. YouTube, Young Amazing 09, Wall UNG, AMA, ZING 09, the numbers. Hit me up. Shit, I get it. That's what's up, man. Appreciate you coming through, man. You wanna be a champ, you gotta take a chance. If you wanna be a champ, you gotta take a chance. If you wanna be a champ, nigga, take a chance. You wanna rock ice and get hoes? You wanna rock soft and get pros? Nigga, do that.